Hey, Alicia Stearman here. It's super exciting and a busy week. So I have so much stuff going on that I actually have to have notes, cliff notes to keep you up to date. So first I wanna remind you that March 1st at noon, that's this Wednesday, I'm doing every single month, the first week of the month, my six steps to financial freedom. It's a Facebook Live. It's a, open to anyone who wants to partake in it. And I'll cover any questions that you have about finances and just budgeting for 2023. Um, that's on Wednesday. Thursday, Pillars of Strength. It's open to anyone. Tickets are $45 from Women's Council of Realtors. And that is this week. It starts at 11. They'll be serving lunch, but they're going to be, we're going to be covering social media marketing, um, open houses, prospecting. It's going to be so much fun. I personally am handling out, handling, handing out a um, set of video topics as well as step by step instructions on how to use TikTok and also how to grow your sphere in Facebook. Um, it's really exciting. So I wanted to keep you in the loop on that. Now, here are the updated changes that are taking place pretty soon in the mortgage industry between March through May, okay? Number one, medical collections under $300 will fall off your credit March of 2023. So if you're someone out there who had a bunch of medical collections on your credit pulling you down, this is gonna come out and is going to jump your credit score. So it's pretty exciting. So medical collections under 300 bucks are gonna fall off. Now, regarding credit, there's a new system coming into effect called FICO 10T and Vantage Score and 4.0. This is a new scoring model that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have developed that will take into account rent, utility, Utilities, phone payments. Up to 10.7 million more buyers are predicted to qualify, which is really exciting. Um, it's targeting first time home buyers. And so there's another change I want to make sure to reiterate. Conventional loans are going to change where you have to wait 12 months to pull cash out of your home. They are going to make you wait. So when you're doing large down payments, keep that in mind. Um, Conventional, there's also going to be changes regarding your debt ratio and what interest rate that they charge you. They're going to add cost for higher debt to income ratios. So just remember that, and that is going into effect on all conventional financing. So Fannie Mae is also coming out with the MH Advantage program. So the MH Advantage is for manufactured housing. They wanna make it easier to buy manufactured housing and they're gonna allow us to use modular homes as comparable uh, comps on an appraisal because they're having a hard time having enough manufactured homes to comp out the values. So um, they are relaxing on those guidelines a little bit regarding manufactured housing. So now my other favorite exciting news is March 20th, FHA is going to drop the monthly mortgage insurance premiums by 0.3%. So to give you an idea of what that computes to on a $500,000 home, that's $125 a month in your payments. That's gonna do one of two things. Drop your payments $125 or give you an extra $25,000 in your pre-qualification. So that's exciting. Um, that'll get you a higher purchase price. And so I do want to make sure everybody knows for my veterans, your VA funding fees are going down. So how rad is that? There's obviously a theme going right now where they're trying to make it easier for people to qualify and to buy. So I love it.